Hi everyone. How are all of you? I trust all of you are fine and safe at your home and you're not stepping out and wearing double masks. Well, my name is Shivanjali and I'm back with another fun story for you. Today's story is also very interesting. Well, it is a little similar to what is happening currently, to the current situation, okay? So, I'm going to tell you the story and in the end we'll all discuss together of how it is similar to the current situation okay so the name of the story is inquisitive asha inquisitive asha do you know what the word inquisitive means no well let me tell you inquisitive means when someone is always wanting to seek answers for different things yes and you know asha asha was like that she was like that she always wanted to seek answers of different things she was very inquisitive she always had the thirst for knowledge she used to live with her grandfather in a small village yes they used to live in a small village asha was a very loving girl she was a very loving girl she used to help her grandfather in his household chores she used to love reading books and she used to love acquiring information and knowledge about different things in the world so one fine day she goes to her grandfather grandpa 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 he says yes asha my darling tell me what is it grandpa i was thinking i have a question in my mind yes what is it asha so she said i was wondering how do fishes breathe under water so her grandfather laughed he said ha 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 asha my darling let me tell you how they breathe well they have gills they breathe through gills and that's how asha got one more answer to another question she had so she went back happily to reading her books and then you know while she was reading her books she kept thinking you know there is one question that i've always wanted to ask my grandfather owing to his vast experience in life and knowledge i think he will be able to answer this question of mine she said okay let me just go and ask him and this question used to you know play at the back of her mind quite often so she went to her grandfather she said grandpa i have one more question for you would you be able to help me give the answer he said of course why not asha that's very kind of you to ask me i feel that you have a very very uh, important and a difficult question for me she started laughing no grandpa you know i would not do that it's a very basic question tell me if let me tell me if you can tell me an answer in a fun way he said oh i'll try all right so then she asked him i have always wondered that people from different regions in india and outside india have different cultures they wear different clothes eat different food and they have they talk in different languages why is that so i've always wondered he thought he said hmm asha has asked a very important question so her answer should be given in a way that is meaningful that makes sense and she can seek all the answers okay so he thought let me make this a little interesting so he said okay asha i will do an experiment for you this is a fun experiment okay will you help me oh oh okay uh, but will i get my answer to the question <laughs> of course asha you will get your answers but will you help me yes grandpa of course let's start so he said okay asha now i want you to fetch for one potato one egg and some tea leaves do you know where all that is kept in the house yes of course grandpa i'll just go get it so she ran and she got all those things she kept it in a plate so grandfather said very well asha now i want you to fetch three vessels so she did that also she went and she got three empty vessels and kept it in front of her grandfather then he said hmm now i want you to put each of these things in each of those vessels 
that means keep the egg in one vessel keep the potato in one vessel and put some tea leaves in the last vessel she did that also then he said now i want you to fill these vessels with water not to the top but halfway she did that also then her grandfather picked up each of these vessels and he put it on the stove and he told her well now asha we are going to wait for the water to come to a boiling point she said uh okay but grandpa i don't see my question being answered still i'm very confused then he said asha like i said i promise you you will get your answers then she was very excited because she could see this fun experiment come experiment coming together so she said oh, grandpa now i'm actually you know very excited to see what's going to happen he said i know my child but just give it some time so then they waited for the water to come to a boiling point then her grandpa took off the vessels from the gas gas stove and then let the vessels and the water cool down then he told asha okay asha now is the learning part of our experiment he first took out the egg from one the first vessel and he put it on the plate he peeled open the egg, he peeled the egg cut it into two halves and then told asha asha can you see the the egg was soft inside but after boiling it in the water it has become hard now you can eat it so she said uh, okay then he said now let's talk about the potato now the potato is very soft it was hard first now it is soft she said yes i see where you're going with this then he said now let's talk about the third thing the tea leaves he said wait first i am going to separate the tea leaves and the water using a sieve and then i'd like you to taste it she said okay grandpa and so she did she tasted it and then he asked her what is the taste she said well it tastes the taste is of uh, the tea leaves because it was infused in the water he said exactly asha that is the answer to your question just how soft things became hard and hard things became soft and because of the tea leaves the water changed the color and the taste the same way we humans also adapt to different situations differently for example there are some people in the world who wear woolen clothes all through the year and some don't some only understand english and some don't so the same way we humans also adapt to different situations differently some situations expect us humans to deal with gently some situations we stand on our ground and are firm right and in some situations we just adapt to whatever is going on she was so happy with that answer because it all made sense to her it was all meaningful so my dear children due to the current times we are also adjusting right we are in our houses wearing double mask washing our hands sanitizing our hands and not stepping out right we are eating healthy food not ordering anything right so we are adapting to the changing times as well this is the need of the r okay so always remember in every situation you may have to change your behavior to deal with it okay i am going to see you next week for with another fun story take care of yourself keep healthy keep fit and stay home and bye